what is up guys this is Tito back with another video on the Redmi K20 Pro and today in this video I'm going to be showing you the latest Rise Droid version 3.5 and the codename is Rise based on Android 12.1 of course and this is the 23rd July 2022 build and I have to say the overall look and feel on this Android 12.1 ROM is just different and it hits amazingly well and yes it has a lot of cool things that I'll show you so stick to the end of this video so that you get to know everything about this ROM so let's get started. To the left of the home screen we still have the Google's Discover page and swiping around gets you to the quick selling panel and swiping up gets you to the app drawer and stuff, basic things and yes the animations and stuff are working perfectly fine. By the way this is the Sushi launcher that you are getting by default here and if you go into the about section you will see this is how the launcher settings or the about section looks and yes it has a lot of customizations now in here if you are looking at all these settings and stuff then we have the other fonts everywhere. If you're looking at this, I have changed this to nothing font and that's why you are seeing this always on displays clock actually looks like the nothing phone one. So you can get all of these looks in this particular ROM. I will show you how, but let me start off this video with the launcher stuff and this is how it looks. We have the icon pack changing option, then the home screen customizations. In here we also have the double tap to sleep anywhere in the home screen and stuff. Then we have the interface controller and we have this top shadow dark status bar and the icon labels on desktop and you can also customize the corner radius and stuff. You get a lot of things on this particular custom launcher and we have the all apps themed icons and we have the row height and stuff changing option. Then we have the misc settings right here. So yes, you get a lot of customization. Also we have the hide and protect apps option for this particular launcher itself. Talking about the about section, this is how it looks like. It shows Rise Droid device on top and you have all the device specification stuff. And if you scroll down more, we have the device name as K20 Pro over here of course. And the Android version is Android 12. And if you make this clock to this 12 clock, you will get the Android 12 L's Easter egg, the newer one. And we have the Rise Droid version again, it shows as Fry's 3.5 pixel. And here it shows that July security patch is there. And we have the Rise Droid version over here and the stock kernel is this 4.14 battery 4.0 kernel and the battery life is great I'll talk about that later. Jumping into the system settings this is how it looks like we have a system updater over here from here you can of course check for updates. Let me go back we have the gesture settings and in here we have the quick tap that's the back tap and we have the quickly open camera then the system nav gesture settings and in the settings of it we have the navigation hint and the pill length customization yes you can customize the pill length and we have the back gesture height and stuff but yes there is no thickness customization for the pill bar there is the back gesture animation and the back gesture haptic and the swipe to invoke assistant is also working perfectly fine here if you're noticing and we have the left edge right edge customization let me go back we have the two button and three button navigation then we have the one handed mode that works perfectly fine too and again we have the press and hold power button for the assistant and stuff then the double tap option is also there to check phone we also get the pop-up camera settings and from here you can calibrate the front camera motor if you want to and we have the pop-up camera sound effects we have all these sound effects over here front camera raise dialogue and stuff is there we also get this rise droid lab and from here we get some secret settings i would say like you can take a screenshot when it's not allowed and stuff you can enable this option for that and the other settings which are present over here you can see and of course there is a system updater if you haven't checked that out by the way if you want to flash this rom all the links will be present in the description and all the things that i'm talking about will be present in the description now talking about the stock things that you are getting by the way the app lock is working perfectly fine if you're looking at this as you're noticing app lock is working great and here let me actually show you the unlocking and locking stuff because as you are noticing double tap to sleep anywhere in the home screen is working perfectly fine here and if you tap on the fingerprint scanner it unlocks super fine no problems whatsoever with the fingerprint scanner on display and here just notice how fast it unlocks even from the lock screen itself it unlocks fine by the way i have changed the fingerprint scanner that's why you are seeing this icon over here i mean the icon i have changed yes with the latest pixel 6a <laughs> the device is actually unlocking with other fingers which are not registered but here for the redmi k20 pro it's legendary it does not have those kind of issues i do not have all these fingers registered so yeah only the registered fingers work over here and here let me show you the face unlock and for that i have to swipe up then point the device towards my face and hopefully as you can see it unlocks let me try one more time with the face unlock so that you can notice the face unlock speed and yes it works perfectly fine no problems whatsoever with the face unlock it shows a random message everywhere if you're noticing we are almost there hang on 
and stuff these kind of messages are showing up everywhere even in the settings panel if you go randomly it will show a message over here like right now it shows good afternoon and here i will show you some screenshot this is how it looks at night and stuff and the stock dialer here is the oneplus or oxygenos kind of dialer so you will get the call recording option and stuff and all the animations just notice how beautiful it looks while going back and stuff by the way this is how the recent panel looks like we have the close all app option and we have the screenshot and the google lens option on the bottom then it also shows the ram status and stuff are available in the bottom even in the recent panel that's really amazing and of course we are going to get the split top and stuff if you are going to use that those features are still there now let's talk about the quick setting panel this is how it looks like and i have added a couple of toggles and you can edit and add multiple toggles from here you will notice all the toggles that are present over here and yes there are a lot of toggles and of course i don't have a sim card in the device that's why you are not seeing a volte logo or something but yes i have connected to this bluetooth headset that's why you are seeing the bluetooth battery status over there and of course it shows the bluetooth battery percentage on the quick setting panel too that's not a problem at all and in here this is how the brightness letter looks like we have the auto brightness toggle right there too and we get the other things like this and we have the screen recorder and stuff working perfectly fine this is how it looks like it looks beautiful we have all these features for the screen recording itself and we have the heads up the data saver customization and the fps info also shows up over here if you enable it by the way this display is running at 60 hertz in this particular rom you will not get the 72 hertz and stuff like evolution x rom but yes in 60 hertz the performance is great over here no complaints that i have and here we also have the high brightness mode for some reason if you want to enable that you can this is the outdoor brightness mode by the way dc ring is also there and it's working flawlessly and once you're changing the like quick setting panel it shows this like pill over here as you're noticing this dots moves around looks beautiful also we have the advanced reboot if you tap on the power menu and going to restart as i have advanced reboot enabled it shows the direct rebooting option to the recovery or fast boot from right here and right now i'm gonna show you the volume panel the volume panel is really interesting i would say and in here this is how it looks like we can switch the output device just like this just notice how beautiful it looks you can switch it everywhere the animation i would say is just awesome and here again we can control the volume just like this it shows the percentage right there you can put the phone into vibrate or silent from right here or in general and of course you can expand the volume panel just like this even the gear icon animation looks just buttery smooth and beautiful by the way before i go into the settings let me show you that we have audio fx2 and if you want to enable that for some reason you can definitely do that and there are plethora of options for this audio fx as you are noticing if you have used the uh, lineage os roms or cyanogen mod roms it used to be present so right now you can of course use this with the reverb and even the bass control and stuff you can actually adjust all these so yeah you can actually use this feature if you want to and you can also change the output device to the speaker or the bluetooth headset that you're using and even for wired headsets it should work perfectly fine too so this is a really amazing feature which was present earlier but right now you are gonna get this with android 12 as well and we also have this stock apps like this clock app and stuff this is not the google clock this is the stock clock app by the way talking with the stock things here is the stock camera you will not find it very beautiful because this is the old kind of google camera and it does not give you a really amazing feel i would say but yeah this is how it looks like it's not great that's why i have installed this latest gcam this is a gcam 8.5 this works perfectly fine even with the night sight mode and stuff it has this zooming effect and we have all these customizations even for portrait pictures and stuff it should work perfectly great and if you're noticing yes the front camera is working perfectly fine no problems with that and even in the video settings let me go into it we have this switching option for the phone mic and the bluetooth mic as well if you are using a bluetooth headset that will appear so that's really great and for the rear camera you can shoot up to 4k 30 fps i guess but 60 fps shows over there but it may not work i would say the full hd 60 fps works perfectly fine not a problem with that so this gcam i definitely recommend the picture quality with this gcam is just beautiful and i'll link it below in the description and again all the flashing guide and stuff for this particular rom will be linked in the description do not worry you can flash it with the same guide same method will work over here now jump into the settings panel and in here this is how again the whole settings panel looks like everything seems a little bit different and yes you can go into the customizations and you will find amazing amount of customizations for the time being i'm gonna change the font so for that i have to scroll down to the user interface then go into the font style then i'm gonna just go with the default style so that you can see the text is better and we have the buttons customization at first we have the power menu then we have this emergency advanced reboot secure lock screen etc long press power button torch is also there then we have the automatically turn off torch with timer set and we have the control playback option and the other settings and in here we have the lock screen customization the always on display scheduling option is there 
And if you scroll down more, we have the battery info and stuff. Then we have the UDFPS or the fingerprint scanner icon changing. So with the dark theme, this is how it looks. And yes, they are beautiful. And there are plethora of options for the fingerprint scanner icons. And here, as you can see, everything is smooth. And you can choose any particular fingerprint scanner icon that you are willing to choose. And in here, we have the UDFPS animations. And there are, again, plethora of animations, including the Mac Cyberpunk 2077. All these animations you will get over here. No problems with the animations at all. Also, there is the haptic feedback if you want to enable that. Here, we have the ripple effect, the power menu, and the fingerprint scanner vibration and stuff, and the double tap to sleep. Let me go back. We have the mask settings. In here, we have the gaming mode. From here, you can add any game and stuff that you are willing to. And we also have the unlock higher FPS in games and the unlock Google Photo Storage and the swipe rate, screenshot, pocket reduction, etc. options are there. I just added BGMI, so you can also do this use angle and stuff. Then we have this performance and stuff. Let me just open BGMI so that I can show you the gaming mode. And from here, this kind of panel, you can actually see the FPS right here. And the settings actually looks beautiful. We have this performance mode changing option and we have the gesture disabled and we have the notifications. The stay awake option is there and it also shows the thermal temperature and stuff and the battery percentage. And again, we have the unlock higher FPS in games and unlimited Google photo storage. The swipe rate screenshot is also there and you can do the share, edit, delete and the Google lens things with the swipe rate screenshot. The pocket detection is also there so it won't wake your device up in your pocket or something. Right now, let me jump to the navigation settings. This is how the navigation bar, the pixel animation and the IME button space you can enable. And we have the layout customization. Then we have the invert layout options and the back, long, home, etc. gestures. And we have the notification settings right here. The notification headers you can customize. The re ticker option is there. Then the four stop button is there. Then we have the heads up customization and we have the blink flashlight for incoming call. The battery light, notification light, etc. And we also have the artwork, background and stuff, all these things are present. In the quick setting panel customization, we have the battery style, the battery percentage, everything you can enable or disable from right here. Even the background transparency you can do. That's why you are seeing this blur in the like background over here. And just notice how good it looks even when you are in the home screen. This frosted glass kind of effect is present in everywhere, even in the app drawer, even in the quick setting panel. Everywhere it just looks beautiful, I would say. We have this other things like the data usage and the clear all button and the column on portrait and column on landscape you can customize in the sound settings we have the pulse customization then we have the volume steps the volume panel on the left side and this is where you can change the volume panel timeout that's really great we have the in-call vibrations as well if you want to use those let me go back from here in the status bar settings in here we have the status bar icons headset bluetooth etc icons you can enable from right here and we have the clock style the clock and date etc and the network traffic customization the 4g icon and the roaming indicator combined signal icons the bluetooth battery status is also showing over there and we have the vault icon view wi-fi icon if you insert a sim card of course and we have the colored icons then the show notification count even the battery style just notice plethora of battery styles are there and of course you can choose the battery percentage next to the icon to the right or left that's really great and we have the battery bar customization then the double tap to sleep and even the brightness control is present only thing that i can complain over here is that there is no status about padding so i use a tempered glass over here that's why you're seeing that like the wi-fi icon and stuff is getting cut out a little bit in the user interface we have the ambient display and of course we have the edge lighting then we have the always show time and info that's the always on display wake screen for notification option is there and let me go back we have the charging animation the settings background changing option and we have the setting style you can change the setting styles or the layouts over here that's really awesome we have the screen of animation too you can change it to crt or scale and we have the monitor theme engine customization but you cannot really use the pitch black over here for some reason i did not find the option but yeah that's how it is we have the navbar style the font style and the icon packs the signal icon packs etc and again the font style are plenty and there are plethora of options you can of course go with the nothing fonts if you want to these are two nothing fonts nothing dot and the nothing dot headline fonts you can use icon packs again these are the options which are present and the signal icons these are present and we have the system shapes and we also have the wi-fi icon styles so that's all the customizations which are present in this room right now let me jump into the display settings this is how it looks like we have the brightness level the adaptive brightness and the extra dim feature is there then we also got the lock screen customization and in here you can customize a lot of things like the wake screen for notification and stuff again and we have the screen timeout and we have the dark theme and inside this dark theme too we do not get any pitch black option then we have the wallpaper zooming effect and the nightlight you can customize then we have the live display customization 
and from here you can actually do this red green etc kind of things the reading mode you can also enable and we have the color set to saturated and you can also of course customize the red green and blue again from here and we have the rotation settings up to like 270 180 everything is there the double tap to wake is there and allow window level blood option is there the double tap to sleep is there the wake up on plug and inside ambient display we have this wake up gesture too if you want to enable that or the pickup you can of course enable and in here in the custom display settings we have the descending and the high brightness mode that's for the screen display settings of course let me go back in the wallpapers and styles this is how it looks like we can change the wallpapers by the way i'm using the default wallpaper over here and we have the accent color switching option from the basic colors to the wallpaper colors dark theme you can enable from right here and the themed icons as well you can enable and we of course have the app grid up to six by eight to the battery settings this is how it looks like and everywhere it shows a message just like this which settings you are in and here we have the battery percentage in bold font normal battery settings and we have the rise droid idle manager and stuff and the battery optimization and in here we can optimize per app obviously and we have the battery temperature on the bottom but sadly we do not get to see the battery charging cycle i would say that's kind of disappointing and yes i do miss the battery charging cycle seeing option over here i would say frankly and in here let me show you we are getting about i would say eight hours of screen on time here it shows but i have been getting about seven hours of screen on time at least i would say so the battery life is very good no complaints that i have but i would definitely say my battery is old because if you look at the health section it has about 65 percent health left the battery has 750 plus charging cycle i have my battery's health is not that great even with that it's giving me really good battery life so yes huge thumbs up from me for the battery life of this rom that's just great and yes the fast charging and stuff should be working perfectly fine it also does that charging sound and stuff i'll show you that right now In terms of sound and vibration this is how it looks we have all these alarm notification etc volume control and again if you scroll down more we have the dial pad tones etc touch vibration and stuff and here you can actually change the charging sound we have the me sound enhancer we have the youth edition and stuff and with this the sound quality was great with the headphones or the bluetooth headsets like the wired headphone and bluetooth headset both are working great even the audio via the speakers are great and we have the hi-fi audio option too over here if you want to clear the speakers out you can definitely use this option now jumping into the security this is how it looks like and yes i have showed you the film it's kind of speed and stuff and yes app lock 2 is working fine if i didn't show you that right now let me show you that as you can see app lock is working fine too but if i go into the settings you cannot really go into the advanced settings if you're looking at this so yeah this is very weird so for that let me actually show you you can search inside over here just write protected apps as you can see protected apps will appear in the search section once you go into that we have this protected apps and if you tap into that as you can see you can search for any particular app that you want to lock even google photos and stuff are present you shouldn't worry about those now let's talk about the overall performance yes the performance has been really good on this rom and i have to say this is one of the best performing rom that i have ever seen on the redmi k20 pro just notice the fluidity of the scrolling it just straight up scrolls normally it's just like nothing as you can see even scrolling twitter is not a problem over here there is no choppiness whatsoever and even in the play store and stuff the scrolling is perfectly fine this is not a problem at all just notice how smoothly it switches to the apps and even the scrolling and stuff while i'm doing this is just perfectly working fine and yeah no problems whatsoever with the performance and here if you want to go into the split top mode and stuff they are working perfectly fine again by the way if i do this the split top is taking a little bit time to adjust as you can see if i do the scaling and stuff just notice how much time it takes i don't know why this is happening but yeah the split top feature is kind of working weirdly if you're doing doing the scaling and stuff but if you don't do the scaling it's perfectly fine here are the end to end geekbench score with a cpu stress test on this particular build and by looking at these benchmarks you can definitely say the performance over here is pretty much late and yes i haven't seen this much benchmark scores in this particular device in any dom i would say out of the box you are getting this performance and that's just amazing right now let's talk about the basic things yes the bno info here shows as l1 so you can stream netflix or amazon prime videos in 1080p without any worries also the safety net passes right out of the box over here so you should not be worrying about using banking apps over here on this rom 
So yes, I would say this is still one of the best ROMs that I have seen for the Redmi K20 Pro. Yes, it does not offer some features that I like. It is about padding, does not have that. The battery charging cycle showing up option does not have that. Except for all those, the overall performance if you just want to use this ROM as your daily driver. And if you like all the features over here, you can definitely go with this ROM. And this ROM will give you amazing amount of performance and customizations almost everywhere. I definitely liked the Rise Droid. Let me know in the comments what do you guys think about this particular ROM for the Redmi K20 Pro. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Share this video with your friends if you want them to know about this ROM. Subscribe to the channel if you have not yet. This is Tito from KDN Tech signing off for today and I'll be catching you guys in the next one. Bye-bye now.